Hey, and welcome all the way back to the channel. Mino here, and we are playing some more Stranded Alien Dawn. Uh, you saw that montage, right? Two years. Two years, and uh, our energy crystals are still just 93%. So, note to future self, those things take forever. Start those earlier. <laughs> uh, the upshot is that I've been living on fast forward, and it has proven well. Uh, we still have quite a bit of food left. I'm going to do one more harvest. Uh, they've been eating out of this, as you can see. But, um, lots of food. 11k left, and we had 14k when I started. So, about 1.5 to 2,000 a year. Not bad. Got a few years left if we had to. Um, I did put in some more air conditioners, though. Uh, we had a severe heat wave. An AC unit went down. Got up to 50 degrees in here. Uh, some of those berries started going bad. Uh, it was not a great time, but uh, easily solved with some extra ACs. Anyway, uh, I'm ready to get these guys on their way home. So we got a few things to do to make sure uh, we can make that happen. So uh, let's get it started. Uh, here's the plan. First thing I want to take care of is the flooring. Uh, these guys have been complaining the whole game about cave dweller. I don't want to be a cave dweller. And what they're saying is they don't have flooring. That's what they're mad about. Now, I could have gotten rid of that earlier, but I wanted to make sure to do that with you guys here. And, uh, eh, I kind of like watching them suffer. <laughs> At this point, I'm getting pissy about it. There we are. Now, once those are built, they'll stop complaining about being cave dwellers. Not that that does us a lot of good, but, eh, it's something to do. Alright, next thing on the agenda. That would be one of these. Orbital radio desk. That is how they're going to talk to the spaceships once these things can contact the spaceships. Now, this takes 100 power. These take 50 power each, so we've got 200 power that's going to be killed out when these things are on. Um, yeah. And then we've still got our turrets to turn on. So, yeah, getting a little tight. Getting a little tight. I think we're also going to need to build some more uh, wind turbine. So, there. That's quite a lot. But the problem is, I've noticed that once in a while we'll get a solar flare, shuts these down, and we're barely getting the power we need with these working. <laughs> when these go down and our turret's on, uh, that could be a mess. No big deal if there's a whole lot of people here, but when we get down to one or two people, uh, that's going to be a problem. And uh, let's solve for it now, yeah? Anyway, one more thing to go. And that we can do right over here. Uh, we need a 9x9 floor of something heavy duty. Uh, let's see, 9 by 9 Like that. And some stairs. There we go. Uh, that's for the landing pad. We need a landing pad for the escape pod to land on. So, hmm. So there we are. They've got a few things to build, uh, a couple things to make them happy, and we've got a little more time to kill until these energy crystals are done. Then we can set them about making the last things we need them to make so that we can start getting out of here. Looks like those finished up pretty quickly. Day two, uh, near the end of the day, but... Uh, says 95%. There's some still lagging, it looks like, but most of these are ready to go. And with crystals ready and harvested, uh, we can start plotting the last things we need to build. Uh, that would be armor. Uh, I want one good suit of synthetic armor. We probably need, I would think, two of the veggie ones. Yeah, let's do that. That way, when we start getting down to fewer and fewer people, uh, we can start 
giving them armor so they have a better chance of, you know, surviving. That'd be great. <laughs> uh, weapons. We're gonna need weapons. Uh, let's make some real deal weapons. Uh, let's make a couple of Railgun Sniper 2.0. That would be nice. Uh, then we can make a couple of uh, Pulse Rifles because we didn't find any of those. And they're like shotguns. That would be great. Uh, now for this, we need our power cells. Uh, let's do it until we have, uh, let's say five left over in stock. Yeah, there. Now everybody's making everything they need to make while they're here. Uh, we've got our landing pad we can drop on top of this thing as soon as it's ready. Can we go ahead and place that. We can. No, we can't. <laughs> we might have. I don't know. We'll find out when that gets built. Okay. So, they actually have work now. So, I get to watch them do things. just because I think it would look cool. I'm putting a floodlight right on the landing pad. <laughs> there was just enough room to put that there. And uh, I'm running poles out. It's a absolute waste of resources, but uh, we have enough power going and uh, I think it would look cool. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and leave these guys armed and leave these things on. Uh, no more bug juice. I think we're good on that. And uh, yeah, when these guys finish up the last of this, I'm not going to assign them to anything else. Uh, it's time to okay this. And when that gets built, then uh, we're going to get ready to go home. Yeah, see, this is one of those things I was talking about. Anomalous animal behavior. Uh, the animals just going nuts, deciding they're going to attack us. And they're not attacking us, they're attacking these dishes. So, that sucks. Uh, let's just set these guys on hunt. There we go. Uh, that way our turrets will actually attack them. And, uh, I don't think we should have to do anything unless they go after this corner. In which case, then we have to do something. Yeah, see... He's just warning us of the same thing I just told you. <laughs> I think that uh, I've read that before. Yeah, but just like that, see, we can take care of it. So, uh, not a biggie. Cool beans. Hey, okay, so check it out. We just got our first spaceship. Spaceship detected. Very cool. Uh, now we gotta make somebody use this. Um, who's doing things? Both of you guys are cooking. Vivian, uh, why don't you talk to him? Vivian can talk to the spaceship. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we let her chat with it. And uh, hopefully it's a rescue pod. Uh, sometimes they just give you supplies, which, eh. I'll take them, but I'm ready to go. Check it out. Rescue pod. Yes, I accept the offer. One by one. Yeah, I know. One by one, and we gotta hold on. We can. We've got this. We've just gotta move all this stuff inside, and we'll be good to go. So, you guys do that. Now, who gets to go home? Um, you know, we're pretty good on most of the materials. There, look at that. Spaceship. Leaving in 24 hours. Alright, so I've got 24 hours to decide here. Who's going? Um, we need to do some more crafting. We do not need to do any more building. Um, farming is pretty well done. Yeah. Okay. 
So Edmund or Raka or Laura. Uh, let's see what their social is like. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. Hey, Edmund, just uh, let me know how you feel about everybody. <laughs> okay, so Edmund is not a happy dude. Uh, neither is Sam. Nara seems to be her big problem, along with uh, Edmund. How about Raka? Yeah, Raka... He ain't too great either. But he's getting along with Sam. Sam is the one who's probably going to make it to the end. So who's getting along with Sam? Uh, you don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about you, honestly, Neris. You're a pacifist. You're not making the cut. Um... Vivian is meh with Sam. Okay, Raka likes Sam. Uh, Nova does not have a thought one way or the other. Laura really likes Sam. Okay, so Edmund gets to go home. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, Edmund, board. Yeah, oh, there we go. They've changed the interface. That's nice of them. Okay, Edmund, uh, you board. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stop what you're doing, draft. Uh, what we need to do first is... Uh... Sorry, big man. Uh, we need your clothes. And we need your gun. Where are you at, buddy? There you are, way out there. Yeah, just try and drop, drop your shit in the field, man. That's how it works. Okay, well, you know what? You earned it then. Uh, I guess you get to go. Quipping pants. Hey, whoa, buddy. Uh, I just had you drop your shit in the field for a reason. Okay. Uh, you're gonna board that. There you go. You just go on home. You don't need pants to go home. <laughs> <laughs> we need pants to stay here, though. Uh, that's for dang sure. Alright, somebody go pick up his pants. See you, Edmund. And that is one down. One down and six to go. Alright, that's cool. Uh, now which was his bed? Uh, that's Laura, that's Nova. Where did he... S oh, right there. So, uh, let's, uh, turn off this light. One, to conserve energy. And two, uh, you know, kind of symbolic. He's not here no mo. <laughs> Save my whole one power. I'm sure it'll be helpful. All right, so that is how it runs. We pretty much have to do that six more times, and uh, I'm sure it'll be more than that because sometimes it'll be supply ships, but six successful ones and uh, dodging bug attacks and everything in between. So let's hang tight and see what happens. Yep. Number two is just making contact. Uh, Vivian, you're going to go eat. Talked to him last time. He did all right. Look, what are you doing with your shirt? Is screwed, lady. All right, how are you doing? Uh, full. You don't need to eat. What are you doing eating? You're eating when you don't need to eat, Vivian. I mean, this is how disorders happen. Okay. Okay. Type two. I'm just saying. It's an epidemic. Yeah, see, it's just a supply offer. They're not going to take anybody home. But they will give us stuff. Uh, what do we need? Laser pikes, we don't have any of. But they're pretty easy to make. Um, let's get a pulse rifle. Yeah, let's do that. And then that way we can just uh, eliminate one of these that we're making. Yeah. They'll give us one. That will save us a little time. So, looks like another spaceship just showed up. Spaceship detected. 
Well, that made her moves fast. All right, so who can talk to you? Uh, Samantha, you're not doing your cooking. Yeah, don't worry about the cooking stove. Just talk to the spaceship, please. Hopefully this will be a pod and we can get somebody else off of here. And it is. We will accept. Yes, thank you. Wait. Uh, now who goes home? Uh, Neris. And we're down to five. Alright. See what happens. Yeah, Laura argued with Vivian about combat tactics. Yeah, I just had an order with her about leaving buttermelon pie on the floor. So, we both have beef. Okay, uh, so, Samantha. Samantha, contact the spaceship, please. Have a chat, and 50-50, uh, somebody else gets to go. <laughs> well... Never mind, it's a one and three because that dude just told us to F off. So, good on you. Uh, that's what you do to hitchhikers. You know, I, I gotta respect it. Alright, at least they were cool enough to give us another spaceship without making us do another fight. So, that's nice. Uh, Laura, uh, you're cooking. I don't want you to stop cooking. Uh, Nova, this time, you just quit doing something. Talk. Go talk. Now, let's see what happens. Oh, supply offer. Um, do we need anything? You know, we don't really need anything. I don't want to turn down free help, though. Let's, uh, let's take on the antibiotics. Why not? Why not? And, of course, now a spaceship shows up. Now a spaceship shows up. Okay, you know what? Um, we're going to have to talk to the spaceship anyway. Uh, Vivian is cooking. No, you are not. Go yickety-yak. We don't have time for this noise. This better be an escape pod. <laughs> this better be an escape pod for all this. Uh, Samantha, what are you doing? Hey. I don't care. You're right there. Do it. Fantastic. Okay, it is a rescue pod, so we will accept that. Uh, nobody's going home till after this fight, though. Draft you up. Those guys are going to be coming any minute. Come on over, fellas. Well, that was effectively gruesome. <laughs> Effective. Gruesome. We are done with making outfits, though. Clothing and whatnot is done. So, Vivian. Vivian, I think your time has come. Alright, so let's uh, take off all of your cool stuff. There you go. And, uh... Yeah, I want your shirt, too. <laughs> I want your shirt. All of it, Vivian. All of it. Get on the ship. Bye, Vivian. Thank you for your help. And we are down to four. Not too shabby. Would you look at that? Samantha and Laura became lovers. Ooh. <laughs> All 
Uh, actually, there is something we should do about that. Uh, it's Nova. There's Laura. Uh, let's move your bed right there. Uh, that'll make them happier. Yeah. Time for somebody to yak. Uh, Nova. Go yak. You might be the one going home anyway. Yep. Rescue pod. Fantastic. Okay. Should be showing up right here. Nova. You know the routine, gal. Down to the skivvies. <laughs> See you later, Nova. Thanks for shooting all those things you shot. We got robots to replace you now. And now we're down to three. Very cool. We're almost there. Alright, uh, Nova, where was she sleeping? That's Raka's bed. That's Sam's bed. Oh, I moved that. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay. Uh, this bed. Uh, we'll just move that in here. <laughs> God, that was silly. Uh, Samantha. Samantha and Laura. You know, that was almost a situation. That was almost something wrong. There we go. That's gonna work a lot better. Uh, this, this isn't the 60s, guys. Now we can shut this room down, too, though. Oh, would you look at that? Laura proposed to Samantha. Now, I've never had that happen. But, uh... I'm gonna see if there's something I can do about that. There sure is. Under furniture, there is a wedding arch. So, I bet I can build a wedding arch, and they can get married. How sweet would that be? Alright, uh, let's put it right, uh... There's their room. Let's put it right by the shooting thing. Uh... Yeah, let's move it up there. There we go. Right in between the, uh, shooting target and the punching pole. <laughs> let's get married in the gymatorium. Well, it looks like they decided to go ahead and get married. Uh, 2 o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, of course. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Party tomorrow. Uh, that, that's when the rescue ship will show up. Uh, maybe that's how Rocket gets to bail. <laughs> Wedding was postponed. Uh, yeah, Samantha decided she was just going to fix a uh, windmill instead. And, uh, I guess they just decided to forget about it. Um, interesting. Okay. So, noted. I guess you have to manually tell the dum-dums to make it to their own wedding. <laughs> oh, see? More, just more crap. You know what? Don't send, don't send anything. Get it. Just, just forget it, you jerko. Okay, well, cool. After that last disappointment, that's the least they could do. Uh, we got another spaceship coming. Uh, no strings attached. Hopefully we have better luck on this one. Oh, we certainly did. Rescue pod. Cool. Alright, well, when that goes, uh, Raka. Raka's the one who gets to go home. So, uh, dude, down to the skivvies. Bye, Raka. Alright, just the two lovebirds are left. Those big boys are going to be showing up any second, too. Laura, this is not the time to drink. Oh my goodness, you two, you two ladies. I swear, what am I going to do with you? Alright. Go ahead and have your drink. Yeah, they don't want to talk to us anyway. Uh, we know why. We know why. We don't, we're not going to talk about it, but we know why. So, yeah. 
Anyway. Hey, now they're having their actual wedding. Look at that. Gather for the celebration. To love, honor, cherish, and to claim to be better at darts. <laughs> That's a weird wedding vow, Samantha. A rescue pod. Fantastic. We will take it. Yeah, going back to sleep. Uh, Samantha's staying. We'll let you guys sleep it out. Uh, Laura, it's been very nice. Uh, you've done a great, 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 great job. Really appreciate all the work. Now please take off all of your clothes and weaponry. <laughs> and get the hell out of here. There you go. And now we're down to one. Just Samantha. Uh, weapons are armed. Food is ready. She's all armored up. Battery's charged. All we gotta do is wait. Alright, so we've got a spaceship. Uh, Samantha has got nothing to do. And it is. We'll take the pod. Thank you very much. Cancel orders. We don't need any orders. What are you doing, Samantha? There's no more orders. There's one more thing you have to do. We need you to get into that pod right there. Or the pod. And there it is. Stranded Alien Dawn, the crash landing scenario. Thank you very much for joining everybody. Don't forget to leave a comment if there's something else you want to see us play on the channel. And leave a like if you enjoyed the show. Thanks again. I'll talk to you guys soon.